we are going to make a beautiful succulent arrangement using these cuttings. Do you think they will grow? Well, let's pot them all in here and we shall find out. Hi everyone, this is Lassie of Succulent Social. What I have here today is a box of goodies. Inside this box are this beautiful selection of succulent cuttings. And as you can see, beautiful selection, beautiful varieties of various colors as well. We actually are going to use this to make an arrangement. And yes, these are cuttings, meaning these are a portion that has been cut off from the mother plant. So it could be something that your neighbor passed on to you, or maybe you, box, you, you bought a box of succulent cuttings, or maybe you already have a, a plant of your own, a succulent plant of your own, and you just want to cut some so that you can make them into an arrangement. So all those options will definitely work for this project. Now I, I can understand why some people would show hesitation on using cuttings for their arrangement. They will find more confidence in using established or rooted plants. However, of course, established plants are more expensive than cuttings. So if you're looking for a more economical way to make your own arrangement, you could go for the cuttings and with proper care, they actually can give you both good results. So now we are using these plants to make an arrangement and I'm going to show you why, how and I'm going to give you tips as we go along on how we can do that. How can we ensure that all of this would turn out to be healthy rooted plants in the end in their pot where they are put together. So first things that we need to do is to actually prepare these cuttings. There are some steps that we will do along the way to ensure that they're ready. And we actually sell this box in Succulent Social. We put a great selection that will give you an option to create a beautiful arrangement or you can just pot them individually. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box if you happen to be in Australia and if you'd like to purchase from us. But for now, I'm going to use all of them into an arrangement. I'm going to put this in this really cute gray watering can. It doesn't have any drainage hole, so I will also put that uh, some drainage hole here as well. But for now, what we're going to do is to prepare this um, succulents. And when we say prepare them, um, I will just ensure that they have stem, stems that are enough to be anchored into our soil. And what we want to happen is to actually put them all together in an arrangement and then eventually they will root there and they will grow there. And for that to happen, there are some tips and tricks that we have to do. First thing that we should consider is um, callus. First thing to consider is callus. Callus is when freshly cut cuttings will have this end part where there's an open wound. Um, we let it dry and how we do it is sim simple. We just leave them there. We'll let them dry for a few days depending on where you are located. But for me, I usually do it after one day and that should be fine. So what it does is that it dries the cut area and um, it sort, sort of protects the, the stem or the open wound from rotting. And what I'm also doing here is I'm putting cinnamon powder on the cut portion. And why I do that is because cinnamon powder is a natural fungicide. So it will protect our plant as well as it coats the open wound for any fungus that might be present in our soil. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking off some of the lower leaves just so that there, we will have enough stem to anchor into the soil. So as I do that, I'm creating another other open wounds, which I will also let dry and I will also dip in cinnamon powder. And then these um, leaves that I took off, I will not throw them away, 
we will use this for leaf propagation. All right, so um, just like this one, for example, I'm removing the lower leaves just so I have enough to anchor into the soil. Put in, dip in the cinnamon powder, or if you have a rooting hormone, rooting powder, you can use those as well. And then after this, um, we'll just put them all aside. We'll let them callous. Now, the second thing that's very important is to use dry, well-draining soil mix. So they're not, these stems are not ready to absorb water. So we need them to be dry um, as far as the soil is concerned. And now we have here our succulents. Um, they're ready, they're prepared. Now for some growers, what they do, they don't really um, wait for them to callus, but they have to make sure that they have dry soil. Now, let's go to our watering can. I'm putting here some uh, drainage hole. It is very important that when it is time for us to water them, there's a drainage hole that will just let all the water flow out. Um, succulents love water. They like to store water in their leaves, but when our plants have roots, they don't like the roots to be drenched in, this, uh, in water for too long. So I'm just putting here some of our succulent soil mix or we mix our own. This is our mix of potting mix. There's perlite, there's coca core, um, some sand and some grit as well, just to make sure that it's well draining. And now let's start. A few things that you should consider when doing succulent arrangement would be, well, one of them would be height. So what I'm trying to do is I put the tallest um, plant in the center and I'm just going to put um, the rest of the plants around them still considering height so at least you're giving each of them a chance to be seen and appreciated also you have to consider orientation so for example um, some some of uh, arrangement can be done in such a way that it's only facing one side because the other side is facing the wall so you get all your succulents to facing your to face your way and that's one orientation but for this particular pot i would like to put it in the middle of a like a center table in the garden where if i'm sitting here you're sitting on the other side both of us can appreciate it so make long story short 360 degrees that's what we're trying to do here um also you have to consider colors so don't, um, how do I say, try to put different contrasting colors um, next to each other. Don't hesitate on putting um, bright colors next to a more greenish color because in that way, they kind of complement each other. And also you should consider varieties as well. So, so there are a lot of varieties of succulents and some of them have different water needs, some have different light requirements. So for all this that we have here, they have all been growing in our garden, rain and shine, and they're so used to having bright light. So I'm confident that if I put them in the same environment in this um, pot, they will also thrive and also grow. Um, none of them are those like Haworthias or Gasterias that thrive more in a um, partially shaded environment. And now you might also be asking this, this um, arrangement now is looking too compact. Is that okay? Well, you have the option to actually um, put them tight together or to plant them with spaces to allow them to grow. But for me, I like them to look full now that I'm making the arrangement instead of actually waiting for them to grow and be full after a few months. Um, because actually in the first two months, you would, very, you would see very minimal growth in them because a lot of the growth are happening actually in the soil as they grow roots. And um, instead of growing in the first maybe two months, you might even notice them shrinking because you will find that 
they actually use um, their lower leaves to the energy in their lower leaves to actually grow roots. So you might even find some of the lower leaves um, drying and that's normal. They're trying to put their energy into growing roots. So if you happen to see them having dry leaves, crunchy dry leaves, don't panic. They're not tying. Just let them be. They, they're actually growing roots. And once they have fully rooted, then they just occupy the space that you give them. So the more compact they, they are, they will not have so much room to grow. Then they will, with, with enough light, then they will just stay like this for a while. But of course, bright light, as I mentioned, is also important because if you don't give them light, then they will elongate. And then that would be the time that they actually get the form and, you know, the shape that you try to create here is, um, um, will be disrupted, will not be exactly what you wanted. And then, um, as I put them together, it's just important that you just make sure that they're anchored properly, that, um, they're, the, the, the stems are all, um, touching the soil and, if you need to add more soil just to anchor them, you can do so. It is important as well that for the first two weeks, do not water them. Do not give water at all. Um, we want, uh, because first they don't have roots, they're not ready to get water. And second, because you have dry soil, we want to encourage them to actually um, get their roots out as they search for water you know what i mean it is their natural will to survive to have roots so they will sprout out roots as they search for moisture and then put them in bright indirect sun so we don't want to actually put um, put them in direct sun because they're not established they might get burned but we, we still need they still need light but maybe partially sh um, partially shaded so now here's our finished product. I hope you like it. I'm happy with how it looks. And uh, yeah, so look at the contrasting color. We tried to put as well some of the height and um, the varieties are there. They're fully showing. So I'm quite happy. And you know what? I actually did not use up all of the succulents in the box. There were 15 succulents in the box. I was able to leave out one of them and here it is <laughs> so I got x1 I'm just I have just spotted it in the terracotta pot and so now I have this beautiful combination <laughs> so yeah that's about this video if you have any questions um, or suggestions please let us know I hope you would like this video and if you find time please subscribe to our channel as we would like to share more of our succulents videos with you. So until next time, bye for now and keep safe everyone. Bye.